Now, an Emeritus News Brief, I'm Lynn Houston. The EEOC racks up the largest increase in job discrimination cases ever. A report issued by the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission shows job discrimination cases based on disability, religion, and or national origin hit record highs. The number of charges alleging age-based discrimination reached the second highest level ever. The most frequently filed claims with the EEOC back in 2009, charges alleging race discrimination, 36% retaliation 36 percent and sex-based discrimination 30 percent and the commission also announced a 1.5 million dollar settlement in a sex and age-based discrimination case with Ralph Schaub Automotive a Colorado-based car dealership EEOC officials say that five older male employees were terminated because of their ages and replaced with younger, cheaper, and less experienced workers with lower sales records. The commission also claims that shops subjected five female employees to sex discrimination and sexually hostile work environments while employed by the dealership. More on the Emeritus News employment page. The Pension Benefit Garrity Corporation taking over the pension plans of clothing maker Hartmarks. The Chicago-based company, which makes clothing under the brands of Hart Schaffner Marks, Hickey Freeman, and Palm Beach, is currently in bankruptcy. The PBGC takes over the pensions for 13,000 eligible current and former workers. More on the payouts on the Emeritus News Financial Pensions page. One of the top companies accused in those mystery bank account charges after buying movie tickets online has agreed to stop. The practice is called Data Pass Marketing Membership Programs, where, say, a ticket or other retail vendor passes consumers' credit and debit card numbers to so-called bonus or award membership programs after the online sale, with consumers thinking they are getting a free bonus. In a letter addressed to Senate Commerce Committee Chairman Senator Jay Rockefeller of West Virginia, Affinion Group President and CEO Nathaniel Lipman announced the company would no longer sell memberships by using that method. There are at least two other marketing firms continuing that practice. Federal lawmakers have vowed to pass legislation this year to restrict that practice. More on the Emeritus News consumer page. Horizon Bank, a large regional bank north of Seattle, Washington, has failed, making it the first major bank failure of the new year. It has been taken over by Washington Federal Savings and Loan. Cost of the FDIC insurance fund, get this, a half billion dollars. More on that on the Emeritus News Financial Pensions page. The latest on the biggest issues and public policy at EmeritusNews.com. And live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on the Emeritus News channel at Livestream.com. That's an Emeritus News Brief. I'm Lynn Houston.